Hey YouTube, it's Alex. So I just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, the last video I made was 10 minutes long, so way too long. I am meeting with someone at my college tomorrow to discuss um, gaps in information for LGBTQ, excuse me, um, LGBTQ issues regarding uh, medical facilities and how nurses re uh, interact with them. Excuse me, sorry. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a nursing student um, at George Brown College, and I am in my third semester. Um, I'm taking a summer patho course right now, so I'm kind of not really at the school a lot. But I wanted to make a, a video because I wanted to get your guys' input on some of this as well. I don't care where you live or um, where you experience it, you don't have to share that with me. Uh, you can either send me an email or just leave me a comment. Um, and so what I'm gonna discuss and what I'd like to make is I'd like to have kind of like a short little training class on history of LGBTQ issues um, pertaining to medical facilities and like a nurse and client relationship um, how to deal with when, you know, other nurses are being, um, inappropriate, and how to address those kind of issues. So, number one, I want to teach them history. I want to teach them, like, facts, like, gender expression. Um, not thinking that everyone is, is heterosexual, that you're treating. You know, they may have a male or female partner, or they may, may have multiple partners. Um, and if that partner is there with them, uh, you know, treat them with respect and how you would, you know, a normal couple, which is a word that I really don't like using because we are normal couples. Um, I want to expose students to different bodies, so trans bodies, two-spirited bodies. Um, so I'd really like to get some input from trans women, um, things that you've had happen where it either makes you uncomfortable or um, questions that were asked, or maybe they, they use the wrong pronouns. Just because I'm really, f I'm kind of more familiar with the trans guy experience when it comes to um, body stuff and whatever. But I'd like your input as well, trans guys. Um, so please share. Two spirited people, I would love um, a response from you because um, I don't necessarily know a lot of people. Actually, I don't think I know anybody. Um, but it'd be great to get um, some of your opinions or some of the things that have happened to you. Um, and if there's anything that you just would like to see to change. Um, so, and issues around, you know, body images. So, you know, making sure that, like, especially during bathing, let's say someone who's trans got really, really sick and you need to bathe them. Me as a nurse, like, you kind of just do your one, two, three, okay. Like, you know that I'm going to touch you, and you know where I'm going to touch you, and stuff like that. I think if we knew that, um, especially if, if people speak up, the one thing I have to tell you guys, if you don't like something, please speak up, because the nurse-client relationship is one of the most important relationships in a hospital setting. And um, I know that I'm trying my best to make sure that I meet the needs of my patient the way I need to meet them. Like, I don't want, I don't just want to meet them. I want them to be comfortable <laughs> with, um, with the way that I'm meeting them. So, you know, bathing is a big part of that. Um, you know, uh, urination and stuff like that. So I know that a lot of trans guys, when they have to stay overnight, they give them that bottle that they can piss in. And most trans guys are like, I can't really use this. So you know, being able to discuss that with a nurse and feeling comfortable doing that. Um, or, uh, honestly, if I was a nurse and I don't see you using it, I'd probably come over and be like, hey, you know, is there an issue? Like, do you want to use something else? And, I mean, honestly, the nurse should ask, can you use this? Is it okay? Um, and I think just exposing people that there's, there's, that there's different people out there. Um, and they have different bodies. And some people don't, want to be touched in certain areas, or let's say they're binding, or, um, you know, their health card says male, but they look female, and you get confused, and whatever. Like, I just want 
medical staff, especially nurses, to understand, okay, well, there's something going on here, and and to look at a driver's license, or, no, I'm sorry, your OHIP card. They don't, they shouldn't have your driver's license. And, okay, so if I'm looking at a patient, and it says male, and let's say the picture's completely different, and it says Michael on it, I would actually look at the patient and be like, you know, okay, is there a name that you prefer other than what's on your OHIP card? Or call them by their last name. You know, that way there's no weirdness or whatever. Um, to be honest, I don't really mind being called my biological name, so I don't usually really uh, change that for people. Um, but I think it's important that people get into the habit. And not assuming, like, don't don't even use pro pro pronouns at all. Um, use gender neutral pro pronouns. Uh, you know, I'll, and a lot of our teachers tell us that now too anyways, because, you know, you could get it wrong. Or there's lots of people who get miss and miss and misses mixed up and, you know, mister and stuff like that. It's easy to do. So I wanted to kind of go over that um, and just show how, you know, you're working in Toronto. It, Toronto's very colorful, whether it be culture, religion, gender expression. And I think it's important to expose these people to a different kind of life. And, um, and I, I, I don't know, especially with people who are genderqueer and things like that, you know. Um, I think it's hard for them to seek medical attention. I think people make it awkward for them. And I think the more and more nurses are exposed and the more, more they get comfortable, um, the better. So I'd like to really shape a lot of the nurses or a lot of my classmates that I work with and um, I see. And if that if I have to become you know visibly trans, I don't mind. I don't mind going into a classroom and being like, hey, you know, I'm going to talk to you about something and going through a list and maybe having other people help me or having guest speakers. Um, that would be awesome. Uh, especially like uh, a trans woman to come speak with me or someone who's two-spirited or someone who's genderqueer um, would be fantastic. So I just kind of want to put that out there. Give me stories, things like that. Whatever you feel comfortable. Um, don't worry, I'm not ever going to use it um, if I actually do put all this together. So I won't use anybody's names or anything. So if you could just give me some input, that would be wonderful. All right. This video is already too long. <laughs> I'll make a new one soon. Okay.